Hi, my name is Selena and welcome to Live Light Well. Living food, so amazing. Eat life. Hi guys, Selena here and welcome to Live Like Well. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a SABI approved sea seasoning or just an all-purpose seasoning salt. I use three different kinds of seaweed including Irish moss, nori sheets, and I use dulse. So I use about four tablespoons of dulse. I use anywhere from 10 to 15 sheets of nori. I use a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt and I use a teaspoon of smoky paprika. You could also use uh, chili peppers. And you can mix that with uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I had actually dried my own chili peppers and ground them up and then mixed them in with smoky paprika. And so that was kind of a mix that I had in my cupboard already. But you know, with sebi, the cayenne pepper is the best. And then I start to add in my dulse. Basically, you just put everything together and grind it up in a coffee grinder. I use a tablespoon of ground sesame seed. <laughs> grind it up in a coffee grinder. You can just do it stage by stage. And then now I mix in some nori sheets. I just take the nori sheets because they all have kind of folds in them for sushi, right? So I just take them and fold them and then I just start to break them down. They have perforations in them. So I just break them down. I grind them into the mix, but I make sure the sheet, the pieces that I've torn up are standing up vertically on end because it can be kind of hard to grind them into the mix. And I use a coffee grinder uh, because it's the best way I find to grind up spices. You may have another idea, but um, you know something maybe like a bullet might work. But I find the coffee grinder is the best because it's sharp and it's able to grind up coffee beans, so it's pretty strong. And you can add as many nori sheets as you want or varieties of seaweed as you like. This is just my choice, three different kinds. You can even put some of Dr. Sebi's Bromide Plus in there because, of course, it has the Irish moss in it. And finally, I add uh, some onion powder as well, about two teaspoons of onion powder. So see, I put it in there, and then I'm just going to shake it up. Sometimes if I want to add more nori sheets or another kind of a seaweed, I'll grind it up on its own, and I will have put everything in the bottle and then I'll just add in some more of the ground up nori sheet. And so you can do them as big flakes like this, or you can um, finely powder them, whichever you prefer. I like to do a mixture. So I whip these up afterwards and I'll add them in and then shake them up. I'll just add in some more of the ground up nori sheets into the bottle. It's very iridescent and lot larger flakes so I'm just putting them in the top. For some texture I'm also going to put in some of the whole sesame seeds. So we've got lots of minerals and iron in there and just shake it up. And so all of these flavors work nicely together to give you those umami flavors, those very sort of Japanese savory kind of flavors. And so it isn't just a sea salt it also works as a general all-purpose seasoning salt. And for me, because I've been, you know, eating a lot of Irish moss and seaweeds, I have like, I have this on my salads, I'll add it to my seaweed soups. And it can, you know, I, initially, perhaps for some people, it may taste a bit like the sea. So it great, goes great with like a mushroom and onion soup to make a nice vegan kind of sea soup. 
and it goes really well on all salads. It just takes your salads to another level. So you can just use it generally as an all-purpose seasoning salt once you get used to it. Um, perhaps other people may not be used to it, but I, I really suspect that other people may not even know it. It's just like a really, really good seasoning salt, all-purpose. And so I'm finding I go through more and more of it all the time, but it really uh, supports my need for minerals and for the, that very rich, savory flavoring. So I, I don't miss the flavor of meat or savoriness at all, especially if I'm having the mushroom soups or I have this on my salads. Then I really just feel like I'm not missing anything. And again, it's kind of a, a raw food as well. So that's really good. So anyway, you guys, um, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you make the recipe. Send me a link and enjoy. And don't forget to eat well, eat life.